call on the name of Jesus what's his name what's his name who saved you who healed you who delivered you call on the name of Jesus 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 the son of David Jesus have mercy upon me Jesus come on and open up your mouth and call on the name that's above every name every name every knee must bow every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord come on and give him the praise in here come on and give him the praise in here give a hand praise to the the, the dancers give them a real hand praise I'd rather damn have them dancing in here than in the nightclub I'd rather hear them dancing in here than in the strip club I dare you to clap your hands for them hallelujah let's stretch forth our hands to our neighbors let's pray let your neighbor know that I'm praying for you I'm praying for you. I don't know what you're in need of, but God does. And we're going to let the Holy Ghost intercede. And we believe by faith that as we are praying, God is going to answer in this hour. We know that tomorrow is not promised. And we believe by faith that he's going to do it in this hour. I don't know about you. But I know I have so many unspoken prayer requests so many things I want God to do in my life in my family in my church so many things I want God to do but most of all I know that God answers prayers the prayer effect heals we know some people that are hurting physically mentally spiritually but we believe by faith that as we pray for one another a breakthrough is going to take place hallelujah let's pray right now in the name of jesus father we thank you for your grace and your mercy we thank you for your love and your kindness lord we thank you for who you are there's no one beside you there's no other no other god like you lord god we thank you that it's in you that we live move and have our very being lord we thank you lord god for your grace and your mercy we thank you for what you did on calvary lord god we thank you for the blood of jesus lord we thank you lord god for dying for our sins lord god we thank you lord god for allowing this lord god to be in this sanctuary lord god one more time lord we thank you lord god for the air that we breathe we know that it's in you that we live move and have our very being lord god we came to say thank you right now in the name of jesus we thank you lord we decrease right now that you would increase in us lord god creating us clean hearts oh god and renew lord the right spirit within us lord god renew our minds lord god in the name of jesus lord god let our minds be on you in the name of jesus restore lord god refresh lord god in the name of jesus lord god we thank you lord god for your spirit that's already in this place lord god you say where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty lord god we thank you for your liberty lord god we thank you for freedom right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for walking up and down the pews, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for being in our cars, Lord God, being in our homes, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for being all around us, Lord God, keeping us from seen and unseen dangers, Lord God. You are a keeper of our soul, Lord God. There was times when we didn't want to be kept, Lord God, but you kept us, Lord God. We thank you for your mercy, Lord. We thank you for your grace, Lord God. We thank you right now lord god we thank you lord god for who you are lord god and we believe by faith that you're going to do incredible things lord god we thank you lord god that there's faith in the house lord god we thank you lord god that these signs shall follow them that believe lord god 
we thank you for miracles signs and wonders Lord God in the name of Jesus Lord God we thank you Lord God for souls going down in Jesus name we thank you that somebody is going to be baptized in your name Lord God and filled with the Holy Ghost Lord God we thank you Lord God that the backsliders are being reclaimed Lord God we thank you that the saints are being encouraged right now in the name of Jesus Lord God we thank you that somebody's coming and say what must I do to be saved Lord God we thank you Lord God that your spirit will move Lord God even Lord God while I'm preaching Lord God in the name of Jesus Lord God we thank you Lord God for interrupting the service Lord God you have your way in this place Lord God now bless the hands that I hold Lord God you gave us the keys to the kingdom Lord God and you said that whatsoever we bind on earth Lord God will be bound in heaven whatsoever we loose on earth shall be loose in heaven Lord God so we bind every foul spirit that's not like you Lord God we bind sickness right now in the name of Jesus Lord God we bind cancer right now in the name of Jesus we bind diabetes right now in the name of Jesus we bind that suicide spirit right now in the name of Jesus Lord God we bind every addiction Lord God pornography addiction Lord God drug addiction Lord God alcohol addiction Lord God we bind every found spirit Lord God that's not like you Lord God send it to the lake of fire right now in the name of Jesus Lord God lose your power and your anointing Lord God lose your favor in this house Lord God lose your spirit to move Lord God in the name of Jesus Lord God lose financial blessings right now lose spiritual blessings right now in the name of Jesus Lord God bless my neighbor and my sister bless my brothers right now the hands that I hold Lord God you know what they're in need of Lord God and we believe by faith Lord God that you're gonna meet every need Lord God you're the God that meets every need Lord God according to your riches and glory Lord God do exceedingly and abundantly Lord God above all that we can ask or think Lord God we believe it by faith Lord God and it is done and it is so in Jesus name loose your hands and give God the praise in here loose your hands and give God the praise in here tell your neighbor it's already done tell your neighbor it's already done Woo. you may be seated at this time it's already done just tell your neighbor say I'm happy for your future yes I'm happy for your future things are looking brighter and better hallelujah thank you Jesus I'm grateful for being in the house of the Lord one more time I'm often asked to preach in other places but it's an honor and a privilege to preach at home and I'm grateful that I'm here to preach at home I want to honor our pastor and our bishop Bishop David David Eddings let's honor him let's let's do better than that Jeremiah 315 says that he gave us pastors after his own heart to feed us knowledge and wisdom we thank you and we love you I appreciate the minister board deacons ushers the musicians my right hand George bless you I told him I was gonna give him the red carpet treatment I'm grateful that my brother is here I'm grateful for all that is here amen um, I just want to say thank you. I, I never got a chance to say it openly, but thank you for welcoming me, my family, into First Pentecostal Church. I'm grateful for each and every one that has blessed us, and my, for my wife and I and my mother-in-law. We do love you and we do say praise the Lord. I'm grateful that my wife is in the house. I'm grateful for my mother-in-law that's here. Grateful for my mom texting me and said we're watching. So mom, hi mom and dad uh, pray for me we are going to get into the word uh where the paperback saints at who got the 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 the, the bibles that you got to turn page where y'all at all right i see you i see you all right let's get to the other part and those that uh the androids where y'all at we're praying for you we're praying we apostolic around here. I see the apostolics is in the house. Let's pray for the mandroids. They, there's grace for them. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Let's set up on our feet. Let's read the scripture and then you may rest. <clears throat> Psalms 122. Psalms 122. I want to honor our youth 
leaders, Sister Shanice. Let's give her a hand praise. I don't know where she's at. She's doing an excellent job. The youth department, media, everybody. God bless you. Psalms 122. We're going to read one verse. When you have it, say, I have it. Amen. The scripture says, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Let's read it one more time. I was glad when they said unto me, the word is already blessed. You may be seated at this time. Uh, the Lord has been dealing with me uh, concerning this this sermon and this message and to be honest with you I really don't have a, a, a title per se so we'll we'll as we go on we'll see where the Lord says amen and I, I'm, I'm like Bishop sometimes I watch him and he has a simple cue card and I'm like man I don't know how he doing this so I got notes I can't do like the Bishop do amen so y'all pray for me in Jesus name <laughs> uh, we are living in an hour where we must uh, have our calling and election short I remember the season saints where they would say, uh, for God, I live and for God, I'll die. Let me, and let me say this too before I continue on. I'm going to try my best to reach Motown because I see Motown's in here, Def Jam's in here, and I see the downloaders. So I'm going to try my best to talk to each generation that's in the house. Amen. So if I say some slang here and there from this generation, don't worry about it. I, I'll talk about the Jive Turkeys too. See that? I, got, I can do it. We want to make our call and election sure, and we want to make sure uh, that we have that same attitude that for God I live and for God I die. It is a fact that the enemy of our soul comes to kill, steal, and to destroy. But in this day, we must discern how he is moving. We got to understand how he's moving in this time. Uh, Hollywood will have us believing that Satan is this grotesque looking individual. Uh, he wants the Hollywood, you know, when we watch these movies, the monsters always looking like Freddy Cougar in a sense. Those that watch movies, amen. Uh, but the truth be told, that's not how Satan really operates, nor how he looks. His deeds are grotesque, and his deeds and his actions are terrible, but he really doesn't come with an appearance looking like Freddy Cougar. Uh, let me let me break it down to you. Now he's starting to get a little slick. If you're watching these movies and the television shows, the villains are usually handsome and beautiful. Uh huh. You know, you heard the expression "handsome little devil." Uh huh. And the devil in the blue dress. Mm hmm. The, the 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 Bible describes how beautiful this angel really is, uh, and he knows how to transform himself into an angel alike. Don't be fooled uh, by the outward appearance. Uh, we have to have an ear and listen to what he says. Uh, he is a smooth talker. The Bible declares that he is a deceiver. Uh, he has all the game. He has all the game. Ask Eve. She fell for it. Ask, matter of fact, the angels that fell from heaven. Uh, he was able to convince them to turn their backs on God. Uh, tell us the truth. Some of us have fell for his traps and snares. Uh, I wish I had a church in here. Indeed, he is an influencer. He has the influence some right in the church. Uh, and he has influenced some right out of the church. Uh, he's working overtime. Satan is after the foundational stones. Uh, I won't focus on all the different foundational stones but I want to focus on the most important stone which is the church of Jesus Christ uh, David proposed a question in Psalms 11 and 3 he said if the foundations be destroyed what can the righteous do uh, the church of Jesus Christ is a foundational stone uh, but I'm seeing and some of us are even seeing that there is some cracks in the foundations uh, the devil has crept in unaware uh, uh, he has crept in, in some of our worship songs anytime uh, the songs become about us instead of him there is a crack in the foundations uh, anytime 
time that we are swag surfing uh, ungodly music in a holy sanctuary uh, there is a crack in the foundation uh, ain't no way that you can justify some foolishness like that huh he's crept into the praise breaks dancing with no deliverance after a problem there is a problem in the foundation uh, it's time to straighten up and dance in the spirit huh he's crept in some of our sermons uh, anytime you have preachers that will cuss across the pulpit there is a crack in the foundations uh, anytime that you got preachers that have games and gimmicks uh, there is a crack in the foundation uh, they're turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness uh, they preach like us and they sing like us uh, they dance like us but they are not of us uh, they have a form of godliness uh, you gotta hear me in here uh, we must be careful what's going on in the church uh, Satan has influenced some of us out of the church he is an opportunist so he opens doors and platforms uh, to bash the church uh-huh these are the sheep that gone astray uh, these are the sheep that don't have a shepherd uh, you know who they are they're the ones that say uh, the building is not the church uh, they say God doesn't dwell in temples made with man's hands uh, they will say I can read the Bible for myself uh, but Jesus said is that you err not knowing the scriptures nor the power of God. Uh, David said, uh, what shall the righteous do? Uh, saints of God in this hour, this is your time to stand firm on a solid foundation. Uh, tell your neighbor, I'm standing on a, a firm foundation. I'm standing on a firm foundation. Uh, you got to understand that these foundational stones, Satan is attacking. Uh, but I got news for Satan in the world system. Uh, the church institution was not established nor created by man. Uh, Jesus said upon this rock, uh, I will build my church uh, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Uh, nothing whack about that. Uh, speaking about rocks, uh, I got to tell the world system right now uh, we don't need no rocks and gems and crystals uh, to get rid of bad vibes uh, we ain't need no gems and crystals uh, to get rid of negative attitudes and people uh, if you would just understand who you are in Christ Jesus uh, you can turn to the rock of ages uh, the church has a solid rock uh, on Christ the solid rock I stand all of the grounds is sinking sand uh, Oh Christ, the solid rock I stand. I don't know about you, uh, but I'm standing on a solid foundation. Uh, as soon as God, as soon as you give God the glory, uh, things begin to move uh, and things begin to change. Uh, I don't need no rocks and crystals to do anything for me. But if I just open up my mouth... Uh, and give God the glory. Uh, the Bible says uh, that he will take off the spirit of heaviness. And he will give you a garment of praise. Uh, I just wonder if anybody got a praise in here. If you got any kind of heaviness, I dare you. Throw it open up your mouth. And give God the glory and the praise in here. Woo. You want to deal with demons and devils? Uh, all you got to do is use those hands, uh, use those feet, and open up your mouth. Uh, the scripture says, uh, let the high praise of God be in my mouth in a two-edged sword, uh, in my hands to execute vengeance upon the heathens. Uh, tell your neighbor, I'm putting hands and feet on the devil today. Uh, hands and feet on the devil today. Uh, I'm going to clap my hands, uh, I'm going to stomp my feet, and I'm going to open up my mouth. And give him the glory. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. Uh, that's how you get rid of the enemy. Uh, Hallelujah. The church of Jesus Christ uh, is solid. Say the church is solid. The righteous must declare to the world system uh, and the church system and the structure. It was established by God and him alone. For the word declares uh, in Ephesians 2 and 20, the household of God was built upon the foundations of the apostles and the prophets. Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Nothing whack about that. Uh, church, I'm not here to beat up on nobody, but I'm most definitely going to beat up the devil today. Uh, it's a spiritual 
spiritual warfare. Huh? It's a spiritual warfare. We got to know and identify the spirits that we are dealing with. Uh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds. Uh, you need to understand your fight. Huh? You need to understand what you need to do huh? to, in, to, to win in this race. Uh, you got to know how to fight. Huh? The church as we know it started on the day of Pentecost. Uh, and, uh, and, and before I get to that, I want to talk about the first church. Uh, the Old Testament church. Uh, there was a church before Pentecost. Uh, let me break it down to you. Uh, it, it was a church, uh, if I would call it, uh, it was Wilderness Apostolic Faith Church, pastor by Moses. Uh, y'all want it, y'all need Bible, okay? Acts chapter 7, verse 37 and 38 says, This is that Moses uh, which said unto the children of Israel, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me, him shall ye hear. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angel which spake to him in the Mount Sinai and with our fathers who received the lively oracles to give unto us. Uh, Pastor Moses, Prophet Moses was the first pastor in the Old Testament church. Uh -huh. See, Pastor Moses received the law from God himself. Uh, he taught the children of Israel about the laws and the commandments. Yes, he did. Uh, that's what they had to live by. Uh, they tried their best. Yes, they did. Uh, but they failed. Uh, for the law is nothing but a shadow. Uh, tell your neighbor the law is a shadow. Uh, the law can't save nobody. Uh, the law was weak through the flesh. Uh, the blood of bulls and goats couldn't take away the sins of the world. Uh, I got to tell you it again. The blood of bulls and goats couldn't take away the sins of the world. Uh, but tell your neighbor, say, but God. God had a plan, huh? God's plan, uh huh? God said through the prophet Ezekiel, uh, He will give us a new heart, huh? And a new spirit. God said, uh, I'm going to prepare myself a body, huh? God handpicked a virgin woman by the name of Mary, huh? To be the mother of the Son of God. Before Joseph and Mary knew each other, she was found with the child of the Holy Ghost. Uh, the angel of the Lord Joseph uh, uh, said to Joseph, This child is of the Holy Ghost uh, and he shall bring forth a son and his name shall be called Jesus somebody say Jesus uh, for he shall save his people from their sins uh, call him Emmanuel God with us uh, in other words uh, God is not one person uh, uh, or another person uh, God and Jesus is not two different people uh, the scripture says uh, I told the young people back in Los Angeles uh, I said Mary didn't give birth to triplets uh, no she didn't give birth to triplets uh, she gave birth to one uh, in him dwells the fullness of the Godhead bodily uh, Christ is not divided uh, God is not distinct personalities uh, God is no co-equals and he has no equals uh, God was manifested in the flesh God was justified in the spirit seen of angels uh, preached to the Gentiles and received up unto glory God did it by himself uh, tell your neighbor say God did uh -huh. Let's talk about Jesus for a second. Huh? Jesus, uh, 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 he, when he was born, when he was born, uh, we thank God that he was born. He had to do it for us. Uh, he was born to die, but we're going to get there to the second. Uh, but Jesus, he came into the earth, uh, and there was a hit on Jesus. Uh, it's a hit on young people. Uh -huh. They did it in Moses' day. All the two babies, uh, two years and under, all the Hebrew babies, boy, they were right there putting a hit on them, trying to stop the next move of God. King Herod, under the influence of Satan, did the same thing. He let me gotta find these baby boys, but most of all, we need to find that king uh, that everybody's gonna worship. Uh, so on. Uh, so what they did, uh, they went and hid baby Jesus in Egypt. Uh, they hid the baby in Africa. Uh, and the scripture says, after King Herod died, the scripture says, out of Africa, out of Egypt, I call my son. Uh, tell your neighbors, say he came from Africa. Woo, you got to understand what I'm talking about in here. Huh? Go, I, I feel God in here. Uh, I'm grateful that he came out of Egypt. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Not only that, I got to tell you something. The first time that Jesus shed blood was on the eighth day uh, when he was circumcised in the temple. Uh, thank 
God for the blood in the temple. Huh? You got to understand that there's blood in the house of the Lord. Now, at the age of 12, uh, his parents took him to the temple. Uh, speaking of the temple, uh, this was, uh, uh, I got, you got to understand what happened there. Jesus is sitting there at the age of 12 as a young person, and he's listening to the doctors. He's listening to the lawyers about the law. He's understanding. He has so much understanding and wisdom and knowledge that the people was astonished. They were amazed at his questioning. They were so amazed uh, uh, just of his understanding. Next thing you know, his parents left him. He was still in the house of the Lord. Huh? I don't know about some of our children. Uh, if one of our parents left us in the sanctuary, we going to panic. We're going to like, where did mom and dad go? Jesus was right in the temple feeding and getting an understanding of the word of God. You need to understand that you're not too young to get the word down on the inside. Huh? Uh -huh. You're not too young to get the word down on the inside. Uh, yeah, not only that, uh, uh, as he messaged, before he did anything in ministry, uh, he went to a baptismal service. Uh, he went to go see his cousin John. Uh, before he did anything, uh, he went to the baptismal service. Uh, and John says, now behold the Lamb of God that take away the sins of the world. Uh, he got to the baptismal service and, and he told John, I need to go down in Jesus' name. Uh, yeah, he went down in his own name. Yes, he did. Uh, he said, I need to go get baptized. And John tried to stop him. He said, no, no, no. I need to do this for it fulfills all righteousness. Uh, don't fight water in baptism. Uh, just go down in his name. Uh, just be obedient to the word of God. Uh, uh, hallelujah to God. Not only that, uh, after he was baptized, uh, then he was led to the wilderness. He was led to be tempted by the enemy. Uh, I thank God for 40 days and 40 nights he was there. And not only that when Satan came to tempt him all he had to do is say it is written. Uh, uh, it, it came from he was age 12 on up to 30. It, it is written. Every time Satan tried to come he said it is written. You need to know the word for yourself. Uh, you need to know the word for yourself. When the devil tried to come at you say it is written. Uh, you need to know what the word says about you. Uh, you need to know what the word says says about you and your promises that God has given to you uh, he was able to say it is written uh, you need to understand how important the church is uh, not only did Jesus pass the test but after that that's when he started his ministry uh, you need to understand that Jesus was a regular in the temple uh, he was a regular going to the synagogue he was always going and preaching and teaching uh, Mark chapter 2 uh, uh, said that Jesus was in the house filled with the sanctuary that had nothing but noise in there. Huh? The people gathered there. They heard his ministry. They heard about him. So they went into this place. They went into this building and it was full to capacity. Huh? Uh, I can't wait till FPC will be full to capacity. Huh? And I can see God doing it real soon. Uh, it's going to be so packed in here that people can't get in. Uh, sorry Bishop, we're going to have to go to two services. Uh, something getting ready to happen in FPC. Uh, hallelujah to God. Huh? I think Thank God that was getting ready to happen. As Jesus was preaching, uh, it was some men that came to the door and they couldn't get in. Uh, so what they do, they went upstairs uh, and they broke off the roof because uh, they had a friend that was handicapped. They had a friend that couldn't make it uh, into the sanctuary. And as he was preaching, they disturbed the service. And Jesus looked up and he saw their faith and he said, thy sins have be forgiven. Because of their faith, uh, I want you to know that your prayers and your intercession can heal somebody else uh, tell your neighbor say i'm praying for you i'm praying for you i'm praying for my unsaved loved ones uh, i'm praying for those that need salvation uh, you keep on praying salvation is coming uh, hallelujah to god uh, not only that i gotta testify to make it plain and simple uh, there was a time uh, back in during the COVID situation uh, our dear sister uh, angie uh, was afflicted with a situation uh, she had a sickness uh, and i stood right here and i allowed god to speak through me and i said that this sickness is not unto death uh, and some of y'all remember that huh and there she is right there on the second row lifting up the name of Jesus uh, don't tell me God don't do miracles uh, don't you tell me God can't heal and save he's a miracle right there in front of us uh, oh you need more in here uh, I was on the sanctuary I was on the altar praying uh, and sister Gigi came and said we need to go back there and pray for the man back there he got stage four cancer I said Lord have 
mercy. Uh, next thing you know, we start praying for him. And I said, according to your faith, be it unto you, you shall be healed and made whole. The very next week, God, they testify and said, oh, he's healed from cancer. Uh, I said, George, what did they say? That man was healed. Uh, you need to understand what goes on in the sanctuary. People are getting killed, saved, and delivered. Uh, anybody need to be saved in here anybody need to be delivered in here I dare you to clap your hands in this place Woo. Uh, thank God for Jesus uh, he's still a healer and a way maker in the name of Jesus don't tell me that the church is whack uh, don't tell me that God don't dwell in the sanctuaries uh, he's fill, his train fills the temple uh, he don't just fill me but he fills the sanctuary and he's moving up and down the pews right now uh, don't you tell me that God ain't touching your heart don't you tell me he's not touching your body don't you tell me he's not touching your spirit uh, the Lord is moving in here uh, I thank God I got to tell you why I'm glad to be in the sanctuary. I got to tell you why it's a good reason to be in the church on a good Friday. Huh? You need to understand what Jesus has done for us. Uh, we thank God that he did all the miracles and he did all the healings and we thank God that he preached and teached the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, but it was a time that he had to go. Huh? He had to give it up. Huh? He had to go to the garden. He said, Lord, if there be any other way, let this bitter cup pass pass uh, ah he, he his flesh started talking uh, but he had to override the flesh and say but not my will uh, but thy will be done uh, i gotta do the will of the father uh, let's have some church george uh, i gotta do the will of the father uh, you need to understand what we gotta do for god uh, you need to understand what jesus has done for you uh, jesus said i gotta die for them uh, if i don't shed no blood there'll be no remission of sins uh, so i gotta go to the cross uh, he got beaten on his back uh, they put a thorn a crown of thorns on his head uh, oh yes they did uh, they spit on him uh, and they mocked him uh, they said look at him uh, he saved others uh, but he can't save himself uh, they mocked him and they cursed at him uh, they talked about him uh, Judas betrayed him uh, Peter denied him uh, you need to understand what happened to God uh, he was brutal for our iniquities uh, he was hurt uh, from the head to toe uh, beaten on his back uh, spit upon uh, they pulled on his beard uh, you need to understand what God went through uh, they be talking about Good Friday um, they put that man on the cross uh, they nailed his hands to the cross uh, they nailed his feet to the cross uh, but I thank God uh, that he nailed my sins to the cross uh, cause that's what happened uh, when they nailed him to the cross uh, blood start coming out uh, of his hands uh, Isaiah says uh, I have engraven you uh, in the palms of my hands uh, before you went down in Jesus name uh, you already had blood covering you uh, you need to understand what happened on the cross uh, he, he covered you right then and there uh, not only that uh, he's in between two thieves uh, he's in between two people uh, that are truly guilty uh, one says if you are this who you say you are save us all uh, the other one say man you need to chill out <laughs> you gotta know you gotta understand who he is uh, we're guilty this man is innocent but lord i i need you to remember me uh, he say i will remember you uh, in paradise uh, we gonna die tonight but i'm gonna raise you up uh, why are you gonna raise him up jesus because uh, he is the resurrection he is the light you need to understand who he is tell your neighbor say he is a resurrection he is the resurrection uh, he is the life uh, you need to understand what Jesus did on that cross uh, he died for our sins uh, he died for the law uh, we had to have a new covenant uh, it's time for a new church uh, so he gave up the ghost uh, he said it is finished uh, all of it is done with uh, our future past and present sins uh, are under the blood uh, you better thank God for that uh, you better thank God for that uh, he did it on a Friday uh, I'm so glad uh, that I got my black on because uh, I'm taking my sins uh, to the grave uh, all the things that you've done uh, it's in the grave uh, don't you allow condemnation uh, to bring you down uh, put it in the grave put it in with the Savior you need to understand what God did 
God came uh, to save his people from their sins uh, and I'm so glad uh, that it didn't stop there uh, he got up on the third day uh, with our power in his hands uh, you need to understand uh, we needed the cross uh, but we needed resurrection uh, when he got up from the grave uh, he got up with our power in his hands uh, tell your neighbor say he got all power all power in his hands uh, and I'm so glad uh, that he got you in his hands uh, he got me in his hands uh, he got my marriage in his hands uh, he got my family in his hands in you uh, God got me uh, tell your neighbor say God got me and I'm so glad uh, that he got up from the grave uh, but that's not stopping right there uh, the next thing you know uh, he said go tell my disciples uh, meet me in Galilee and don't forget Peter Peter is the one that denied me uh, but he still belongs to me uh, some of us have denied God uh, but yes uh, he still belongs to us uh, he still belongs to me uh, he's still calling our names uh, even when we fail hard uh, even when we fell in sin uh, he's still calling our names uh, he said all you got to do uh, is repent uh, he told him to meet me in Galilee we're going to preach repentance uh, and remission of sins uh, we got a mission we got to do uh, souls need to be saved uh, people need to be healed people need to be delivered they need to be filled with the Holy Ghost uh, and y'all need to be filled with the Holy Ghost so we're going to go to the upper room uh, so you can be endured with power uh, they went inside a building uh, yes they did uh, they went and it was on one accord uh, they was in there tearing uh, and waiting for the Holy Ghost uh, next thing you know uh, they're filled with the Holy Ghost uh, they're speaking in tongues uh, as the Spirit of God give utterance uh, yes they did uh, and they didn't need no interpreter uh, no they didn't uh, they were speaking the word of God uh, yes they were uh, not only that uh, the people was being saved and healed uh, they said what's going on uh, this is that that the prophet Joel says uh, he said I'm my sons and daughters uh, he shall prophesy they said I'm gonna pour out my spirit and sons and daughters uh, shall prophesy uh, tell your neighbor say you will prophesy uh, you will speak the word of the Lord uh, you will proclaim and declare because uh, you got the power in your mouth uh, you need to open up your mouth uh, and declare and decree uh, and as you shall do it uh, God will establish the word uh, but not only that I gotta keep going because uh, I gotta get to the sanctuary uh, not only that uh, he said uh, they're gonna continue in the apostles doctrine uh, and they went temple they was in the temple uh, they was in the building they was in the sanctuary don't let nobody tell you uh, that you don't need to be in the sanctuary they continue in the temple and they went house to house uh, they went building the building uh, and they were preaching the word of God uh, yes they did uh, as they went out uh, the next chapter says uh, they were on their way to a place a beautiful place uh, something like FPC uh, then they saw a beautiful place uh, and it was a man Peter and John uh, they're walking to the sanctuary they're walking to the hour of prayer uh, and they saw a lame man uh, some of us been lame ourselves uh, yes we have uh, he saw a lame man asking for arms uh, asking for money uh, he's sitting on the sanctuary outside the sanctuary and Peter and John says uh, he's asking for money he said look on us uh, silver and gold have I none but such as I have uh, I give to thee but in the name of Jesus uh, arise and walk uh, this man was handicapped uh, he couldn't move uh, but these men were full of the Holy Ghost and with power so what they did uh, those of you that got the Holy Ghost uh, those of you that got power you got to take him by the right hand uh, they lifted him up uh, and the Bible says uh, he jumped up uh, now you got to tell me uh, how can a man that never walked before God had to do some miracles in his legs uh, they had to do something with the ligaments uh, he had to do something with the muscles uh, in order for him to leap up out of his area he leapt up 
Uh, the Bible says that he leaped and ran and walked. Uh, you got to understand the miracles of God. Uh, he ran and he leaped and he walked. Uh, but when he did, uh, he didn't go home. Uh, but he leaped and he ran and walked in the temple. Uh, I want to know, does anybody uh, got a praise in here? Uh, because this is your leap here. Uh, no more time of being lame. Uh, God is a healer. God is a way maker. You need to understand who your God is uh, this is why we come to church uh, this is why I'm glad because uh, things happen in the sanctuary this is why I praise him uh, I was glad when they said unto me uh, let us go into the house of the Lord uh, why you want to go in the house of the Lord because the Lord is in his temple uh, he's in the holy place uh, I want to be uh, where the Lord is uh, does anybody want to be where the Lord is I dare you to clap your hands open up your mouth and invite him in let him move on you let him move on you let him touch you let him heal you open up your mouth clap your hands give him the praise he dwells in the midst of praise don't you tell me he don't dwell on the inside he's down on the inside and he's moving in the sanctuary and people will be healed uh, that's why I come to church uh, I came to hear a word from the Lord uh, that's why I come to church uh, I can run uh, in the sanctuary I can dance in the sanctuary I can be myself uh, in the sanctuary uh, I gotta worry about the world uh, judging me uh, um, it's me and God and him alone uh, you need to understand who you are you need to understand that you are a child of God you are a child of the king and that's why i came to give him the glory does anybody came to give him the glory anybody happy that you were invited to the sanctuary ain't no reason i'm gonna come in here and not get what god has for me i don't know about you but i'm gonna get mine today whatever i need from god i'm gonna praise him for it i'm gonna dance for it i'm gonna run from it I'm going to get what God has for me. Uh, praises go up. Uh, blessings come down. Uh, people say uh, that's not in the Bible. Uh, I said you need to read it again. Uh, Judah means praise. Uh, the next son is Issachar. Judah means praise. Issachar means reward. Uh, you don't get your reward uh, till Judah come first. Uh, does anybody uh, want their reward? Uh, do what you gotta do get Judah first and then your reward if you give him the praise you'll receive your reward Woo! that's why I come that's why I come that's why I come I come to leap I come to joy this is our leap here you will run through truth leap over walls you will receive your breakthrough you got to do something that you've never done before you got to praise them in faith Woo. it ain't about your feelings it's about your faith it's according to your faith It's according to your faith. The woman that had an issue of blood, she did everything she could to get her blessing. The blind man, he didn't care what the disciples was talking about. He cried out the more. You got to know how to get God's attention. I praise him in my heart. He don't say nothing. Out of the heart, the mouth speak. And I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth it's a good Friday to have church it's a good Friday to have church I said it's a good Friday to have church because he died for us he got up from the grave it's a good Friday to have church it's a time to celebrate. 
This ain't no sad time. God did. I'm going to quit. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. You don't know what's going to happen in the house. You have no idea what will happen in the sanctuary. So you got to show up. Ask some people that was lost in the, in the ark. Eight people got saved because they didn't show up. And God shut the door. We got to be in the ark of safety. This is a safe place. This is where God dwells. This is where God is. I'm done. It's just a good Friday to have church. It's a good Friday to be healed. It's a good Friday to be saved. If you had not been born again in the water and the spirit, this is a good Friday to do it. Jesus says, marvel not, you must be born again of the water and of the spirit. Ain't no options. You must be. Yes, we're saved by grace through faith. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. If you have not been born again in the water of the spirit, you can come now. If you want to make it to heaven, you must have the Holy Ghost. Without the spirit of God, you're none of his. Yep, he created us, but we must be born again. Because we was born in sin and shaping in iniquity. So we must be born again. If you had not been born again, the water and the spirit, you can come now. If you have not been born again, the water and the spirit, you can come now. If you have a prayer request or you want prayer, you can come now. God answers prayers. I'm interceding for some in my family. I'm standing in for my family. I'm praying for my grandmother. My grandmother is 95. And she's having, she's going through, going through. She's having falls and hitting her head. For some strange reason, she keeps bouncing back. It sounds like the saints keep praying for her. Sound like grandma want to go out on her own terms. God answers prayer. If you don't need prayer and you know someone that does, you can come. You can be just like the four friends. That's about squad goals right there. When you want to see your friend saved, you want to see your loved one saved, they interceded for him. Will anybody in the seat for your loved ones? They can be saved today. While you're in the sanctuary, God can send the word. You might get a text message right in the sanctuary. Something happened to me. I started speaking in tongues. I don't know what's going on. That's because you was praying for them. I don't know what it is. I was getting ready to light a blunt. Something got a hold of me. I just put it down. Going through the struggles. Getting ready to pop a pill. But something came over me. That's because somebody's praying in the temple. I expect miracles, signs, and wonders. I expect miracles, signs, and wonders. I believe there's believers in here. I'm looking forward to people getting up out of wheelchairs. Oh, yes. There's healing in the temple. There's deliverance in the temple. If y'all keep praying... Somebody going to receive their breakthrough. This ain't about cars and land. This is about souls. 
You get the cars when you seek him first. I'm grateful for all the miracles in the hell. I'm grateful for all the living miracles in here. If you call on the name of Jesus, he'll show up. If you call on the name of Jesus, I shall be saved. That's what he came to do. Save his people. We're going to be witnesses. We're going to tell the world what he's done. Isn't this the lame man that was outside the gate? And now he's in the temple praising God. What kind of man is this? That tell the seas to behave. Peace be still. Peace to your mind right now and in the name of Jesus. That will keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on thee. Keep your mind on him. He's a healer of the mind, healer of the soul. Keep praying, saints. Keep praying, saints. Call on the name of Jesus. You don't know what else to say, just call on the name of Jesus. Keep calling on the name of Jesus till you start speaking. Call on the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Ghost intercede for you. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing right now. Thank you for healing right now. Thank you for saving right now. Thank you for delivering right now. Thank you for saving right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Cover your people right now. Loose your angels in the house, Lord. Send healing in the house, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Remember those in the, uh, in the, in the prisons, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In those in the hospitals, Lord. Send healing angels right now. In the name of Jesus. Loose deliverance right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we love you today. We worship you today. Move in this place right now. In the name of Jesus. Move on the altar right now meet every need right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus 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 call on the name Woo. protect our children Lord protect them right now we rebuke perversion right now. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Protect our children. Protect them from molestation. In the name of Jesus. Protect them, Lord. In the name of Jesus. And those that may have been violated. Heal and make whole right now. In the name of Jesus. Renew them right now. In the name of Jesus. Protect them. Keep them, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep praying in the temple. Cry out unto him. Cry out unto him. Cry out unto him. Do it right now, Lord. Do it right now, Lord. If you cry out to him, your cry will produce a miracle. Ask Lazarus. Jesus wept. Next thing you know, he called Lazarus forth. He called him forth. He came out the grave happening. Came out leaping. Woo! And Jesus saw he's bound. Loose him. Loose your people right now, God. Hallelujah.
Thank him. Thank him. Send up a praise in here. Send up a praise in here. Loose your hands. Loose your hands. Open up your mouth. Loose your hands. Open up your mouth. There's victory in your hand clap. There's victory in your hand clap. There's victory in your hand clap. There's power in your hand clap. Lord, we thank you. There's victory in your hand clap. You feel it. You see it. Thanks be unto God who giveth you victory. It's already done. Woo, it's already done. Woo. That same Jesus went to the grave, set the captive free. Out Abraham, out Moses. He led the captive free. Whom the son sets free is free indeed. There's freedom in the house. There's freedom in the house. There's freedom in the house. There's no more condemnation to those who are in the Lord. There's freedom to worship. If you praise him, he'll do it now. If you praise him, he'll do it now. You better praise him in faith. You better praise him in faith. Ain't no sense of playing with it. Is it. Your praise is sealing it. Your praise is sealing it in this very hour. Miracle signs and wonders shall follow them that believe. Your praise, what a praise is that? Thank you for the testimonies, Lord. Thank you for the testimonies, Lord. Thank you for the breakthroughs, Lord. Thank you for the miracles, Lord. Thank you for the promotions, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Clap your hands. It's Friday night. Some of y'all can remember where you was around this time. Some of you was in the juke joint. Some of you was going into the nightclub. You know how to dance. You know how to dance. It's a good Friday to have church.
Didn't I tell you it will be all right? Didn't I tell you it will be all right? Didn't I tell you everything is gonna be all right? Didn't I tell you it will be all right? Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you everything is gonna be all be all right? 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 Be all right. right. Be all 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 right. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? I said everything is gonna be all. Be all right. Be all right. Be all right, 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 be 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 all right. obedient <laughs> at this time we want to say thank you both to Bishop David Eddings and to Pastor Andre O'Neill hallelujah for allowing these two churches these two youth departments to come together um, at this time if either of you will have words that you would like to express amen <laughs> 
Praise God. Awesome. Awesome. The youth pastor of Freedom Worship, <laughs> Pastor London, I'm going to ask you to come on up here and give us our benediction, please and thank you. Just so you know, the worship, you guys got a basketball tournament tomorrow. <laughs> 1 p.m. to 4, correct? I'm sorry, 3 to 7. And after I come from the zoo, I might have to come ball y'all up a little bit. So, First Pentecostal Church, don't forget you got the zoo in the morning. Be on time, because Sister Julie is in the blessing business. Hallelujah. I'm going to turn this over to Pastor London. Amen. Maybe y'all stand to our feet. Hallelujah. Did we have a good Friday today? Hallelujah. It's a good Friday to have church. Amen. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We praise you, oh God. We give you glory and honor, Father, because you are Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And there's nobody like you, Jesus. You are a wonderful Savior, Lord, mighty deliverer, wonderful counselor. You are, hallelujah, the most high God, the one true living God. And there's none that compare to thee, Jesus. Father, we honor you in this sanctuary, Lord God. Father, we're glad, oh God, to be in your house, be in your place of refuge and safety, oh God. God, we ask, oh God, that you will bless us as we leave from this place, but not from your presence, Lord God. God, we ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that we will carry you in our spirit, oh God, all throughout the rest of this weekend, Lord God. God, let your fire remain and spill over into tomorrow and into Sunday, Lord God, on Resurrection Sunday, Lord God. Father, I pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that someone will leave here, Lord God, knowing what you did on that cross, Lord God, that it wasn't in vain, that it was for us, Lord God. It was for our sins, Jesus, and that you rose again, Father. We ask that you would bless and keep us, and we thank you for what you've done and what you're getting ready to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah.